Labels also provide their artists with expertise from in-house promotional, marketing and accounting teams. Services they can afford to offer thanks to their rich back catalogues stretching over 80 years of recorded music. One classic one from our catalog. These are seven records. London Calling, classic. That's, that's one of ours on Columbia. It's quite pleasing to know that those labels that I used to watch turn around when I was a teenager in the 80s is now something that I, you know, pays my salary. That's quite exciting. Sony Music has one of the most lucrative back catalogues, generating over a billion dollars in revenue every year. I think the back catalogue is absolutely vital to our business because back catalogue creates the flow of cash that allows us to invest in new talents. That kind of equity in the brand is something that allows us to then fund our acquisition of new talent. So a catalogue is absolutely vital, always has been, and I suspect always will be. It's a virtuous circle. The funds generated by back catalogues help to build success for new artists whose back catalogues the label will then go on to own. This video just pissed me the fuck off. Let's go, come on. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group a musiccom and right here we got these greedy, blood-sucking, cock-sucking, bitch-ass motherfuckers. This is why they want our masters. This is why they want our masters. You see that little hoe-ass motherfucker? You see him on the ground on his knees where he's used to being? Going through the records. It's quite exciting that the records that I used to spin in the 80s is now paying my salary. He, he almost slipped up. He almost fucked up and said, I own. But he said, I, I now it pays my salary. It's quite exciting. You ain't did shit. Miles Davis. You pulled a Miles Davis record. One of the most prolific brass players of all time. You ain't help him write, you ain't help him produce, you ain't helped his family do a goddamn thing. And because y'all got his masters, you get paid off his music forever. You hear how much they say? They kept saying back catalog. Back catalog means fucking masters. You hear how much they say the masters of Sony makes a year? A billion dollars a year. And this is in 2016. This is pre-streaming. Well, not pre, but like early streaming era. So things have absolutely changed since then. This is why they want your shit. Because they take your masters, movies, TV, radio, get it played, get it popular, get it marketed. They own the publishing. They own your masters. They get all that money, give you a little tiny percentage. Maybe they keep all that money, pay off everybody, get everybody else rich. And then they go and take a little tiny percentage and they offer in advance to the next artist, get his or her masters, TV, radio, movies, blow it up, all over the place, market it, get it popular, give them a little bit of percentage, get everybody else rich, take it and rinse and repeat. It's a cycle. That's why they don't want independent artists to win. That's why they're fucking mad. That's why they get upset. Because we're disrupting that cycle that has made so many people who have no musical gifts rich as fuck. This shit ends now. I don't, it's to the point now, I wouldn't even want to fucking work with a label because I am vehemently against that shit. You're taking other people's intellectual property from their life experiences and not giving it back to them where they can share the riches. It would be okay if y'all did it for a temporary period of time, but as Miles Davis family ate off that shit, Warren G, we got a video where he said his song Regulate has made Def Jam over $100 million and they still won't let him in on that. A hundred million dollars. One tenth of what they said Sony generates from back catalog masters, which I don't believe that at all. That's just probably 10, 20 million dollars a year. Billion, I'm sorry. Billion dollars a year. How can y'all support this? Why do you want to sign away your masters? This is why they want it so bad. Because it funds their entire lifestyle. It funds their great grandkids' coat problem when they're a finance major at the University of Miami and she's snorting a whole fucking line off of some dude's dick with her great granddaddy's back catalog money that he stole from your ass in the year 2020. Some spoiled ass rich girl gonna be snorting coke off of dicks in 2080 off of your money. That should be your great granddaughter snorting coke off of dicks. Not theirs if she wanna do that. Quit making other people rich. I'm sick of this shit. Fuck that. They ain't getting my masters. They don't need yours either. It's our time. We're independent artists. 
click the link in the bio, get our services, or download the free ebook, or just start putting out music. We gotta watch these motherfuckers out, man. If we put out a shit ton of music and start marking that shit everywhere and get the audience used to just listen to music no matter where it comes from, these motherfuckers will get wiped the fuck out. And we all can eat peacefully. Click the link in the bio if you bout that. Or go bend over for these record labels and get your $100,000 vans while they go make $100 billion. I'm after Y'all stay true.